Welcome in. In our last video, we found some rust and we went ahead and filed it down. And I asked you guys, what should we do? Put sheet metal in and weld that? Or should we put some fiberglass or how about Bondo? We've decided that we're gonna do fiberglass and a Bondo mix. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done, lay down the uh, fiberglass, and then we're gonna see where we are from there. Let's take a look. All right, so we're getting ready to prep the area for fiberglass. As you may recall from our previous video, we covered the metal with a rust protectorant. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and bring this down to bare metal. I didn't want anything to prevent the adherence of the fiberglass, so we're gonna go ahead and grind this down. Let's get after it. Now, many people do this different ways. Some people may use a pneumatic grinder. In this case, I'm using a drill with a grinder bit, and I'm trying to make sure that I get in the hole and under the grooves and everything. I decided not to cut this metal away. I'm just gonna leave it here and put the fiberglass on top of it. Do make sure you're wearing some eyewear. As you can see, things are flying off all over the place, hitting the camera. And uh, probably should have wore gloves, but I didn't do it. You don't want any flakes getting into your skin, irritating it, be hard to find. All right, got this just about down to where we want it. Let's check it out, make sure. You may not be able to tell, but it was really dark here at the garage, and so we had to do this under lighting, so I had to get the flashlight out and make sure that I could really see that we're down to the metal. I've cut three strips of fiberglass and we're gonna make sure that it fits where it should. Because of the rust, we were able to dent the metal down a little bit so that we have some room to put the fiberglass and kind of build up upon that to the natural level of the original metal. Here I've prepped the metal with the hardener from the fiberglass. Now that I'm dealing with the hardener, I have put gloves on. I do not want that all over my skin. I can actually feel the warmth of the hardener through the gloves. So I can just imagine if that was on my skin. All right, so we're putting the first layer of fiberglass. I'm gonna do three layers. They're gradually bigger than the first. Wanna make sure that we get a good adherence. So I'm gonna coat each level or each piece with the hardener. And I really want to make sure I get this good. I don't want this to come off. If we sand it, it should not break off and come off. So we'll see if I got enough of the hardener on here. And as you can see, this is the third piece. Make sure we really coat that well. I've seen videos where people coated each piece and each piece stayed on miraculously, but it didn't adhere to the car. So I wanna make sure it's clean. All right, so we've come back two weeks later and this fiberglass is still not hard. I did read the instructions and it said that you want it to be 70 degrees or warmer. Unfortunately, this time of the year, it was very cold, about in the 30s. It was also uh, rainy, so I did not think about that when putting this on. So it has taken, like I said, two weeks. We're still not there yet. And then we're going to come back in another week and check it out. I'm hoping I don't have to redo this. I'm hoping that just giving it time, we'll let it harden up. What I'm wanting to do is to be able to sand that down. So right now we're going to consider this a fail, but uh, we'll come back and check it out and see how it is. Thanks for watching. 
go ahead and subscribe. You haven't done it already? Don't forget to smash the thumbs up if you like the content. And of course, leave comments. I love the interaction.